Hey, this is the Amazon Influencer Podcast, and I'm Jim. So what we're going to talk about this week is VAs, virtual assistants. Okay, do you need them? Do I want So I wanted to hire a VA for my Amazon Influencer uh, program. Uh, to, what I really wanted to do is I wanted the VA to go back and uh, update and optimize all my titles and all my thumbnails from the beginning of the program. I got almost a thousand videos up, right? And, and I hadn't always been good as far as uh, thumbnails and uh, and SEO on the titles, right? So I wanted to go back and, and, and it seemed like a daunting task and I have stuff that I do every day that uh, I need to still be doing, you know, money-making activities as far as, you know, uh, making shoppable videos and the like. Um, so I wanted to get a VA to go back and do what I considered a simple task where I was going to have them, uh, you know, have a template. All they would have to do is upload a, a, a screenshot of, of the product. And uh, as far as the title, I was going to have them use ChatGPT, uh, enter some, some keywords, keyword phrases, and have ChatGPT spit out a title. Uh, and I figured that would be pretty simple for a VA to do. So I go to uh, Fiverr and we, we start looking for a VA. And we look at it and we look and we find and we're looking at different prices and they're all different prices and they're all different skill levels and they're from all different countries. And I'm like, I don't really know where to go. So I, I screened a few of them and I, I, I ended up deciding on one from Pakistan. Don't ask me why. I just kind of did. It was the, the price was right and the, the, the communication was quick and it seemed to, the communication was easy and, and, and uh, seemed to understand English very well. So I figured I'd give it a shot. If it didn't work after a couple of weeks, if there was difficulties, I'd move on to number two. So, you know, we hired him to first You week. are hired. I, I bought two gigs right away, right? It was, it was so much for each week, for so many hours. Um, so I ended up doing a bad thing, a no-no, something that I probably could have got my Fiverr account shut down for, and that was... Uh, I gave them my personal information and told them to, well, actually what happened was I needed to give them my personal information. I need to give them my uh, Facebook account. I needed to give them my Instagram account. I needed to give them all my social medias so they could manage them, right? I mean, so I had to put links for all of those places. So the VA started messaging me on Facebook back, all right? Now, innocently, I shared the information on Fiverr and innocently, they're contacting me back. Oh, by the way, the, the, the uh, VA that I uh, hired was a female VA for no other reason. Just that, that she looked innocent and it was fine. And after the first two weeks, turned into a guy, which I didn't really care. But I just thought it was kind of funny, you know. Uh, one of the little tricks that they do to, to get you to, to, to go. But I would, I, you know, it had nothing to do with her being a, a woman or a man. It was it was the communications and and the, what what they were saying. But anyhow, anyhow, that's neither there, you know there. So. So I had to give them my information to all my social media, so they started con contacting me. So I ended up uh, paying for them for a, a month in advance uh, on, on uh, PayPal, right? So now I have them on PayPal, so we agreed on a, on a rate of uh, 12 hours a week for $40. Not a bad deal for me. So they're going to... Uh, well, well, let me get back into what happened. So I, I go... This is what I wanted them to do was my Amazon SEO, right? So. I go into Amazon. First of all, I do an onboarding video for the VA. I create a uh, a Google a Google uh, a Google Drive uh, file that I shared with them, made them a, a, a viewer of, and, and and in there I, I shared a couple of tutorials of what I wanted them to do and how I wanted them to go back into my uh, Amazon. Uh, on my video page, go back to the beginning and start updating uh, thumbnails, use this template for thumbnails, and go to ChatGPT and use the keywords from the listing and, and get a and get a title, right? So I explained all of that to them in a video, and then I did it in text as well, in, in, in a file, right? And they come back to me and they say, well, I can't, I don't know what you're showing me, I, I can't get access, to, I don't see that page, I don't see what you're showing me, I don't see videos. Right? So they weren't seeing my back office, my video office, even though I had shared with them uh, to be a manager. And, and, and there's two different options uh, to, to share authorization on your Amazon account. So I tried both options, right? Which was pretty risky giving them control over everything. But I did just, just to see if it would work. Um, then I went as far as to create an email and to give myself access. And I went in and I couldn't see it. So uh, for whatever reason, they won't let anybody get into the back office of of your Amazon account to, to your video page. So my options were 
give them my sign-in information, my own password and my own email, so they can use my sign-in information. That's like no bueno. That's like very risky, and uh, they could take over and sign, shut me right out of my own account if they wanted to, right? So that's, that's like no way that's going to happen. So we had to change gears, and I said, okay, I'm going to concentrate on my Amazon uh, influencer account, and I'm going to have them can concentrate on my social media because now I want to try to build up my social media drive my off-site traffic because it seems like off-site traffic is now the, the driver in the program is off-site traffic so I got a YouTube channel I got an Instagram channel I got a Facebook group and I got a TikTok and I got a Pinterest so I want to have them manage those five social medias 12 hours a week 40 hours uh, 40 dollars a week uh, pay and uh so now we go back to the Google file, the Google Drive file. I make a new uh, uh, video on uploading and, and, and optimizing. And so now what I'm doing is I'm making my Shopify videos, making my Shopify videos, uploading them to Amazon. Then I'm taking the raw file and I'm sending them to my VA. Okay. Now, how do I contact my VA? Okay. So it's very easy. But I'm using WhatsApp. I'm using email, right? Um, and of course, and I also created the Google file that I share with them. And I have all kinds of, uh, you know, documents in there, uh, all my social media account links, all my passwords, all of that kind of stuff that I got to share with them so they can have access to it, contact information for them and for me, um, different uh, videos, that, different onboarding videos when I want them to do something or I want them to change something and I want to be able to uh, uh, show them what I want to do. I do it, screen, you know, a screen recording, a screen share with myself and, and, and I show them what I want them to do. This is what I want you to do. This is how I want you to do it. I want you to go to ChatGPT. This is what I want you to put in. This is what, and I give them a short video on that. Right? And so I use that all in the Google file so that they can always go back to it and that they have access to the Google file. All right? But I'm using WhatsApp. I'm using email. Right? Um, and, of course, Facebook Messenger. But right now we're not on Facebook Messenger. It's mostly, mostly WhatsApp. Uh, and WhatsApp, you can download videos and everything. But uh, some of the files were big, so I ended up uh, doing emailing them. It was just easier. Um, so that's how we're getting in contact between WhatsApp and email. So it's easy to contact. Uh, I was totally out of the equation. Um, and that could bite me in the butt later on um, because I went against Fiverr Terms and Services because, because I contacted them outside of Fiverr. And I, it was done innocently, but from what I understand, I can get shut down for doing that. So be very careful doing that. Uh, I don't want to give anybody advice that's going to get them shut down. It, I, it, like I said, it happened to me in, in, innocently because I had to share my social media accounts for them to manage. And then it just became natural that they started reaching out to me on Messenger. And, and on Messenger, they asked me if I had a WhatsApp account. And next thing I know, that went to that. Okay. Um, so now I take my shuffle videos that I make for Amazon and I email them to the, the VA and, you know, Every day they upload shorts to my YouTube channel, my Instagram, my TikTok, uh, my Facebook group, and uh, I don't think they're doing Pinterest yet. I want to try and get them to start doing Pinterest. Pinterest is a new new uh, area for me to hit, so I'll be doing that soon as well. Um, but yeah, but it took some time. It took some time. You got to stick with it. It took me about two months, to be quite honest. To, to, to iron everything out smooth. Stick with the VA. If you got someone that's giving you good communication, don't give up on it because, I mean, you just have to do, do it again with somebody else. So, I mean, you know, tr train them the way you want to do things. That's what I had to do, you know. And, and the good thing is these people have experience on social media. They're not dummies. Some of them, the one I'm dealing with, has a degree uh, going to school for uh, social media management in Pakistan. I don't know if that, you know, but they're doing it. So, you know, you're getting people with, with qualifications and you're getting them for uh, pennies on the dollar as far as, uh, and you know what, I don't like everything they do, I don't like all the content they do, content that they make, I don't like, uh, they don't promote fo the follow button, and, and so if that's all conversations that we have every week, I, now I would like you to try this, now I'd like you to try that, let's try to build engagement, let's try to build a subscriber count on YouTube, let's try to, let's do the, let's move the link from here to here in the description, let's, let's, let's use emojis, so it's, it's always tweaking and talking about it, and you got to have somebody that's open to communication. And I mean, you know, the time differential is a thing where the, what, no matter what country you're in, whether it's the Philippines or wherever you're going, right, for, for, your, for, your, for your VA. But uh, 
just get somebody that can kind of, now I've never in real time talked to the VA. I've never had a Zoom meeting, I've never in real time. It's always been messaging back and forth. I leave videos. They've never left me videos back, but they answer my videos in text um, in good time, all in good time. So I mean, um, and in the past month, now it's, I've had this VA for a little over two months. The last month I've noticed my offsite traffic double. Which was was nothing in the beginning, you know, but it doubled. So I mean, that's a good track to go with, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. So uh, that's my take on the VA. Uh, I think it's worth having. I wish that the Amazon would let me open up my back office to, to my VA so that they could uh, update my video thumbnails and titles because I still haven't figured out a way to do that. It's just a very time-consuming thing. If you've ever tried to scroll back through your videos. Uh, it's very, very time-consuming to scroll back. At least for me. If there's a trick to it, let me know. But uh, so I scroll back, and I, I, you know, I, I do a couple. But it just, you know, each one. Then you got to scroll back again. Then you do one. Then you got to scroll back again. And it takes like forever to scroll back. So I mean, you let me know if there's a, a better way to do it. Uh, if, if, leave a comment. Why not? Why not leave a comment? So. You know, do you have a VA? Are you looking to get a VA? Do you, are you afraid to turn? I was afraid to turn over my information to a VA. Somebody, you know, that they, maybe they could take over my account or lock me out or who knows what they could do, right? Or get in, get uh, access to my personal information through whatever, right? you know. But there's all types of protections and there's all types of... And you're only giving them access. You're all, you know, I, again, I had to go to each... Uh, platform Facebook Instagram well Instagram and Facebook you can give them in meta you can give them uh, the, the, the access in meta and get them both and uh, but YouTube you have to give them access um, and uh, and TikTok you got to give them access so talking about the tools that we use and the methods we use and how we how we do it now getting a VA now uh, when did I decide I needed a VA when I was getting overwhelmed and I couldn't keep up with the offsite traffic and I realized that was my weak spot, I needed to do something. So I, I, my choice was to stop what I was doing, which was the money-making activities of the Amazon Influencer Program and, and focus on offsite traffic and maybe lose the momentum over here or get a VA to, and, and they're not doing it as good as I would do it or sometimes they're doing it better, you know, but you know, it's being done and you know, getting your content out there is the key getting more and more and more content and if you don't like what they're doing you have a conversation listen I, I had to have the conversation with I want you to take the, the best part of the video a funny part or a, or a, a part that showcases the video the, the product put that in the first three seconds show it in the first three seconds and then start with the with the review and then and then because you want to get them hooked in they were like okay and it was just you know you just keep tweaking and talking and tweaking and stick with the VA is like I said if they're communicating with you, you stick with the same one. Don't jump around. All right. The other thing I'm doing with my VA is uh, I'm making a bonus structure. So I want my uh, accounts to reach certain milestones. I want right now I'm working on my TikTok reaching a thousand and my uh, and my Instagram reaching a thousand followers, so I can start doing live streams on them. So when they get to a thousand followers on those two platforms, they're going to get a bonus, and I have it in a. In, in, I showed them already. You get to hear on this and you, uh, YouTube. Uh, I think I'm at 1,200 subscribers on, on that YouTube channel where I just share my uh, video, my, my uh, review videos. And I'd like to get that up to 2,000. And when they hit 2,000, they're going to get a bonus. And, it, you know, it doesn't have to be a crazy amount of money. The money is, if you're paying $40 a week uh, for 12 hours of, of work, throwing them an extra $20 every once in a while, that's half a week's pay. Even if you want to give them the $40, a whole, like once a month, an extra 40 bucks for reaching milestones or for, for getting so many views or if you get so much engagement or if you get so many followers, you know, whatever, whatever you think is the important milestone, okay, give them something to drive for. Be that good boss, okay? Be that good boss that you never had. Remember those days? Be that good boss you never had. Give them bonuses for good work. Um, and guess what? When you're good to them, they're going to be good to you. All right, and that's a fact, right? So uh, they won't take advantage of you if you're being good to them. So that's, I mean, I can't stress that enough. You know, be that good boss. Be that good boss that you always wanted. Okay, how about that? Now, 
Remember, these are real people you're dealing with, okay? You know, when something happens in their country, if there was a bad weather situation or, like, there was a, a, a bomb explosion in Pakistan not too long ago, you know, you just say, hey, how you doing? You know, my VA, I told him that I was sick, and he, t three days in a row, how are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? I hope you're doing better. I'm praying for you. I'm, I'm like, this, you know, they're real people. Treat them like real people. Give them respect. They're not just, you know, your VA, your virtual assistant. No, but they're real people, okay? And they deserve your respect, and they deserve to be paid for their work, okay? Uh, of course, we're trying to save money by getting people outside the U.S., all right? And I'm still amazed at, so you, you get you get them at, 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 a, at a lower rate, and they have qualifications. They have experienced in, uh, people uh, in, in what you're trying to get them to do, all right? You can't beat that. I hope that helped you out, and you're starting to learn about the value of having a virtual assistant and getting stuff done. Okay, uh, I always talk about cloning yourself when you're doing YouTube videos. Uh, you're cloning yourself, and you've got a clone army out there. You got videos out there working for you 24/7. Clone yourself. Get a VA. Get a VA. Clone yourself. Get double the work done. Okay. Take the money-making activities uh, that you're doing and focus on them, and all those other activities give to the VA. If you need me to go in depth in anything else, I'll be glad to make an in-depth video on any on any aspect of this subject. Just let me know in the comment section.